I know it's been about two weeks since the last time I ever uploaded a video on this channel and I do apologize but apparently a YouTuber named CandyKO7 is the one responsible for flagging down my videos. So if you're looking for a little bit of revenge, go to him. Now I got that out of the way. Let's start this fucking video. Alec Baldwin. What can I say about this guy other than he's pretty fucking awesome. You know, I mean, he has an awesome voice. The look on his face is so fucking awesome. I mean, you can't just fuck with this guy. You just can't fuck with him. And right now, I'm fucking with him because of one thing and one thing only. He is against horse carriages in New York. I'm not joking. He's against it. And guess who supports Alex Baldwin's idea? None other than the so-called organization called PETA. And PETA has made a game called Pokemon Black and Blue. And if you don't know what is Pokemon Black and Blue, then I suggest that you pause this video, go down the link down below, and, you know, watch Mr. Ripsion's video. He'll tell you all about it. Alec Baldwin, what the fuck is going on with you? You used to be this pile of gold, but now you're slowly turning into this pile of shit. And as for PETA, it's already a pile of shit. I mean, why drag Alec Baldwin into this? I mean, these are the group of people that makes these sort of commercials. Sure. Dear God, thank you for the turkey we're about to eat, and for the turkey farms where they pack them into dark, tiny little sheds for their whole lives. Thank you for when they burn their feathers off while they're still alive, and for when turkey gets kicked around like a football and killed by people who think it's fun to stomp on their little turkey heads. And special thanks for all the chemicals and dirt and poop that's in the turkey we're about to eat. Oh, and thank you for rainbows. Amen. Let's eat. I'm sorry that I'm eating a dead animal, but it's in my nature. I need the proteins. And you think that's bad, right? <laughs> you don't know the meaning of bad. Uh, why don't you take a look at this commercial? Wow. Just wow. That's fucking bullshit. I mean, I don't believe in that shit whatsoever. PETA's radar of animal cruelty is really, really large. They'll consider stabbing a rat with a knife animal cruelty despite the fact that, he, that the rat bit your fucking hand. Now... You have a right, I do believe you have a right to defend yourself against an animal that's attacking you. But PETA, I guess they don't like it. I mean, I, can you imagine one of those PETA members being attacked by a bear? Oh my god, it's a bear! The bear's coming at me! I can't defend myself because I made a promise to PETA that I will not harm an animal. And defending myself against a bear would... Pretty much be the same thing as attacking a bear that is innocent. Ah! Okay, enough from PETA. Let's go back to Alec Baldwin. 
This is what Alec Baldwin has to say on horse carriages. Rolling torture wagons for nature's most dignified creature. That's how my 30 Rock character Jack Donnelly describes horse-drawn carriages. And it is why that New York should join Toronto, London, and Paris in outlawing handsome cabs from city centers. I've been speaking out with PETA against the cruelty of horse-drawn carriages for decades, and I'm thrilled that intro 86A, the bill to replace the carriages with eco-friendly classic replica cars, has garnered so much support in the city council, I urge New Yorkers to contact their city council members in support of the ban and people around the country to sign NY class petition. Well, Alec Baldwin, I'm afraid I won't be signing that petition because that petition is just fucking bullshit. I'm pretty sure those horses are well fed, well trained, well taken care of, and they do their very best to make the horses happy. I don't think a horse would mind having a carriage strapped to his back. Okay? They don't mind heavy stuff because they were built to do heavy work. Now, if the horses were being whipped, on the other hand, then that would be animal cruelty. Then I would be on your side, Alec Baldwin. Sadly enough, I am not on your side because the horses are not being whipped. Alec, take a good look at Peta. I want you to look at everything Peta has done. Everything. And ask yourself, is Peta a really good organization? Think about it. I am the Atheist Games. If you are offended, then be offended. Goodbye.